This is your Apple Byte, Rafael Tavares, talking to you from Comic Con here. And we're doing a follow up to the Zidane interview. Zidane. Zidane, right? Zidane. 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 I keep thinking of the Final Fantasy yeah. character. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, we're doing a follow up to the Zidane interview. And here we are with Sajad Shaw. Sajad Shaw. All right, so how did you get involved with them? Um, or whatever you want to tell us. Uh, well, basically, I posted a lot of stuff online and. Uh, had a lot of feedback as far as fans go, as far as the artwork, and uh, Omar coincidentally saw some of my stuff online on the uh, CGC forums, and he reached out to me and mentioned to me about the project, and uh, it seemed really interesting. It was it was something different, some fresh, um, also some personal to me because it's it's as far as where I'm from, it has a little cater to catering to that, and um, we've always talked about how there hasn't been anything like comics in general in that area. So if there's something that we can contribute to and make it really good, as opposed to just doing something for, for show, it would be great. And um, long story short, I worked with Omar and Kurum, who you dealt with, uh, spoke to earlier, and uh, we got some ideas rolling, put some stuff on paper. They had the ideas, I had the visuals, we put it together, and now, knock on wood, we're on issue two. The third issue, actually, yeah. Zero, one, and two. That's pretty good, you know, and, and that's what I like is the fact that it's different. It, it's something um, that, you know, we're not seeing. It's, it's um, diverse. Yeah, yeah. It definitely has a historical aspect to it, but we kind of, we took that historical aspect and gave it a fantasy twist. Um, and it's, I, I, when people ask me what it's about, I basically tell them, um, without giving away too much, it's Prince of Persia meets Game of Thrones. That's a good analogy. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, it took me a while to think of that one, but I did. But I did. <laughs> All right, so what are you working on besides Zidane? And, um, well, go ahead. Right. Yeah, so uh, I work full time on Zidane with these guys. We're trying to pump out issues. Uh, next year, we're going to start to go uh, qu uh, quarterly or bi, bi monthly, actually. And I'm also doing, I've just done a variant cover uh, for the Ninja Turtles. Uh, done a variant cover uh, for the book Revolutions for IDW, which has uh, ROM, Snake Eyes, Mask, and Transformers. Um, and I have some stuff I'm hoping, uh, have some back and forth with Marvel, and Marvel, so that would be fantastic if it works out. Um, but at the same time, I'm doing some really cool stuff with Zindan. Um, I've gotten a couple of uh, screenplays that have been converted into gra graphic novels, so I'm working with some studios publishing those as well. I have to admit, I love the art from Zidane. It, 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 it looks beautiful. It's um, very exotic. So, you know, I, I have to give you kudos for that. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of feedback back and forth with Omar. Um, they have this library full of stuff that is f filled with stuff that people have not seen. And, and this, it, it, it's just, it looks like basically Bollywood, but with, a, <laughs> with an edge. Um, so I think it looks really cool aesthetically, especially in a book. So we're trying to figure out a way where we can keep that originality, but at the same time, give it a more modern comic book feel to it because we know we're going to have to be drawing these things very regularly so um, you can't do all these like intrinsic details on these like outfits and garments and stuff so we're trying to figure out a way and uh, which is cool to have them with me because actually Hurum, he's, he's ma his, his major was in history as well uh, well I don't know if his major was it we have to double check me on that one but he's very knowledgeable on that base and uh, he might as well have a degree on that um, but yeah he'll He'll no fact check me real quick, but oh, we need this to be look changed, we need this going on, this weapon should be like this, and this is during this era, time period. So it's really cool to have that back and forth and be accurate as far as uh, attire, weapons, um, background, landscapes, environments, and everything like that. So it's really cool. People should definitely check it out. I like that because a lot of people don't don't go in depth into the history or whatever they're doing. They just, you know, surface do it, you know, and yeah. it's good to see somebody actually paying attention to this stuff. Now, where can our, um, our audience find you or, you know, whatever it is that, like, you know, 
your work. <laughs> well, like everybody else, check out the social media, right? So I'm on Instagram at Sajad underscore Shaw. I'm on Twitter, same at uh, Sajad underscore Shaw. DeviantArt. Uh, you can check out my Facebook page as well. Uh, Facebook dot slash uh, Facebook dot com slash Sajad Shaw Art. And uh, you can check out the work, and I'm posting all the time. I try to keep people involved as far as what I'm doing, and also at the show, Snapchat, whatnot. You know, anything to bring in people to, to, to know the work. That's good, because uh, a lot of people, you know, they don't use the social media the way they're supposed to. and <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very big tool that people should get used to, to doing it. it. It is the way that the future is going in, and if you're not using it, you will be left behind. That is true. Well, this is Rafael Tavares signing off from the Bitten Apple, and you need to check out this book, I tell you, and you have to check it out. And of course, check out our work here from our artist. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the time. No problem. Anytime. Thank you.